Joining me now is John Potter, who's the CEO of Vision State. And John, correct me if I'm wrong, but Vision State is a tech company focused on the Internet of Things, kind of cool overall. But you've got a product out there called Wanda. And as I understand it, it started with restrooms in a mall. Am I correct? That is correct, Pat. It uh, originally was focused on trying to uh, provide uh, the data that would be defensible in slip and fall injuries, believe it or not. Um, COVID changed everything, obviously, because it, it really put a focus on uh, the entire facility and the need to have, uh, you know, a digitalized process in place whereby you know, managers, facility managers, property owners could monitor exactly what's going on in terms of their maintenance and cleaning activities and get data-driven analytics uh, to make their decisions. So this has really um, exploded since COVID. And uh, we now don't just do restrooms, but we do full facilities like universities, hospitals, airports, that type of thing. You mentioned universities, and so you've moved into kind of scheduling and operations. Queen's University, I think I saw it recently, has engaged Bunzel Cleaning and Hygiene to implement uh, Wanda Next uh, digital cleaning management software is the way the uh, headline went. Uh, and students literally are using QR codes to give uh, give feedback, if you will. How does that all work? Uh, well, I think... Queens was really motivated by the fact that they wanted to create a healthy environment for their students, parents, teachers, and the rest of it. Um, the only really way to do that is to provide the tools um, that enable them to uh, provide that feedback. So, so we put QR codes throughout a facility uh, the, the cleaning or, or maintenance staff will scan that code. They'll have a list of activities that they have to perform in that area. They'll enter that information. But at the same time, the same QR code can be used by a student, a parent, or a member of the public. They simply scan the code and they can provide their feedback. We gather this feedback and then analyze it. Uh, for trends and, uh, you know, identifying any other potential deficiencies in the service delivery. Yeah, I, I went there 45 years ago. We sure didn't have that in those days. So that's a grand improvement. Uh, I also saw an announcement, by a, a, a collaboration with an AI company called Alberta Machine Intelligence Institute, and they're, they're going to implement machine learning. How does that work within Vision State? Uh, well, that's a really good question, Pat. So obviously, you know, since we evolved from restrooms, uh, we've had to scale up our software significantly, right? So, you know, whereas before we would be tracking maybe 10 items, now we're tracking thousands of items across a university campus and several universities. So we've had to scale up. Now we're using a much bigger data set. Uh, than they were before, which is where AI comes in. And, and I, think, I think Queens is significant in its endorsement for a couple of reasons. First of all, uh, because it's no longer a risk. We, we were by far way ahead of the market in what we were doing. Um, and the fact that this is our first major public endorsement of our software you know, demonstrates the de-risking of it. It also demonstrates the fact that the movement now is toward full digitalization of everything. So um, in the facility management sector, there's a couple pain points that we've identified, scheduling being one of them, resource optimization, and resource optimization is critical in today's day and age where commodities are going up in price. So uh, we've identified specific areas where we want to apply the uh, artificial intelligence um, to uh, optimize those schedules so that, for example, a cleaning staff isn't just going out the way they used to and attending a, a bunch of different locations to clean. 
the AI will actually plot this out in an optimized way and the resource side of things. So it's actually a very logical evolution of our software. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, people talk a lot about AI, you know, they're, they're, uh, but a lot of it is not real yet, right? It, there, there's huge potential for this, but how it, it's applied is really what the key is. And, that, and that's what Vision State's doing with this project. And we partnered with a, a world leader in this area uh, in order to execute on it. Okay. But it seems to me, and you've had great success, obviously, in universities and in Canada, how do you expand beyond into other industries? I'm thinking maybe hotels and restaurants and those kinds of things, and geography uh, beyond Canada. Yeah, uh, great question. So, uh, number one, our partner, uh, Bunzo Clean and Hygiene, is actually part of a much larger global company that's based in London, England. Um, and they've identified, um, uh, you know, data and analytics as being an integral part of their future. And they partnered with us in order to do it. So we've, you know, and, and they're a big company that's been around since 1855, a little bit on the conservative side. They wanted to see that we could deliver um, what we promised. And, and so Canada was the test ground. Now you've got a major university endorsing it. And in fact, we're in several universities and going to be in many more in the near future. Uh, so that's built the confidence in their global team to start really aggressively uh, marketing and deploying Wanda globally. And, and you're going to see some uh, developments along those lines uh, very, very, very shortly. Uh, so we're very excited about that. And uh, yeah, so, um, you know, as the world embraces this type of technology, we have the right partners and the right technology to execute on it. Is that an exclusive partnership or are there other partnerships in, in different areas that you could move into? For instance, a partnership in the industrial area, cleaning equipment. Yeah. So, um, and in fact, we are doing that, Pat, like uh, one of the uh, major um products that a company like Bunzel sells, for example, is uh, uh, cleaning robots, right? And then those all produce data. So, you know, Wanda ultimately is going to become the platform to collect all this data into one central, um, you know, database, if you like, uh, because that's what the customers want. And that also helps Bunzel sell those robots is, uh, if they're getting the right data back in terms of the performance and the usage and all the rest of it, which again is where AI and machine learning uh, play, play in. Because if you have the history of the maintenance and the performance of that robotic um, device, you can make for future predictions in terms of its, uh, if it, its performance. So um, the applicability of the AI and what you're doing uh, what we're doing is definitely across industries. Uh, when I talk about schedule um, optimization, that could be as an AI model, right? So think of an AI model as sort of like an application. Um, that could actually be applied to anything that, that touches scheduling, whether it's logistics or you know, even airports for that matter. So, so we're really excited about this project and it has implications definitely beyond facility management, which is really exciting. Is it ever? Let's talk about, John, the bottom line, if we could, and the finances. By partnering it, does it alleviate some of the pressures of having to raise financing? How are you financially? Um, great question. So that is government finance as well. There, there was a, a really sort of three key things that I needed to, um, you know, check off with regard to the AI development. In particular, one was, you know, can we get government funding? Yes, we can. Do we own the IP 100%? Yes, we do. And is it a marketable pro product at the end? Yes, it is. So, um, Meanwhile, with the Wanda platform that we have, we're, we're already deploying it throughout Canada. Um, I think, 
If you look at our uh, first quarter results, you'll see a significant improvement from last year. We're going to have our second quarter results out shortly. They're going to show a very similar trend um, where our uh, revenue has gone up significantly and our costs have actually gone down uh, significantly. So um, in terms of our capital situation, uh, we've raised some capital. We, we have a... Um, financing going on that we uh, expect to close shortly. Um, but, uh, you know, in essence, we're no longer funding losses, we're funding growth and technology, which which is significant for our vision state. I look forward to hearing those results, John. Thank you mu very much for your time. Thank you, Pat. I appreciate your time. Have a great yep. day.